And remember when you're working, always wear protective gear, wear gloves, and safety squints. Sorry, safety glasses. I watch AVE too much. So alrighty, today what we are gonna do is we are going to test out the rigid multi-job tool attachments that you could actually put on the Ryobi multi-job tool. Now, uh, the new Ryobi multi-job tool is only an oscillating tool. You cannot change out the head. Only the older version you could do this with. They say that it uh, it's universal with Ryobi and you could use the Ryobi tool to work the rigid stuff. So we're gonna put that out to the test today and see if that's actually true. So today we're gonna to test out the jigsaw attachment to see how well this performs and to see if it actually works with Ryobi. So we're gonna unbox this to see what comes inside and see uh, what this looks like and test it out. I do apologize, I have a bit of a headache today. Uh, big migraine, uh, it's cold outside, it was like 40 in the 30s and 40s past few days and now it's like five degrees so yeah my head is throbbing oh so this is model number does it say model number no 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 it does not say a model number on the box it says a long one like this probably isn't it r8223407 1b but yeah but as you can see this is the jigsaw so we're gonna put this to the test and see what this is. All right, so the first thing you get, of course, is instructions and warranty. And you get a little catalog, which I guess this has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine attachments. Get nine, uh, it has nine attachments, which this channel will get all nine of them. That's all, that's actually awesome. And then you get the actual tool itself. Now, for the size, this is actually pretty heavy. This is pretty heavy. That's bigger than I thought it would be. Wow. Look at that. That's actually a lot bigger than I thought it would be. The body is four, four and a half inches long. Wow, look at that. Look at that. It does come with uh, one jigsaw blade. There we go. This thing's actually, this thing is seriously beefy. Like seriously. Like this is the original attachment. I mean, th this thing is, this thing is huge. Now, unfortunately, like the one thing that they, that Ryobi should have put metal is, is this. Th this feel, oh, wait, that might be metal. Is that metal? No, that's, uh, no, that, that, that's, that's actually, it might be metal with the rubber, uh, molding on it. But yeah, we're gonna see on how well this holds up when it comes to using these tools. When it comes to using these attachments. Alright, so I guess you just... And of course you could uh, have it like this. Have it like this. You know, it all depends on how you want to use it. But we're gonna have it like this. And there you go. That is what this is with that on there, which that's actually, <laughs> that I'm not gonna lie, that that's seriously, seriously beefy looking. All right, so then we lock it in place. That, that's locked in place now. All right, so I think just, yep, you just pull that up, put the blade in. Very good. Let's get a 
put a battery in. And there you go. This thing, I'm not, this thing is huge. I didn't think this uh, attachment was gonna be this big, which it is. Oh, uh, let's see the stats. There's gotta be stats on this thing. Yep, it is compatible with T-shank and U-shank blades. It doesn't, it doesn't say the stats. All right, so this, this goes uh, zero to 3,000 strokes per minute. It is, yeah, that is the model number R8223471. And yeah, that's the only stats that it, that it has. Let's see. I say it goes 5 eighths. 5 eighths a stroke length. But we are going to test that out and see what this can do. Now, we are going to use a full battery. This one is only at two bars. So I'm going to get a full battery and we'll test this out. This, this thing's awesome. I'm not going to lie. This thing is seriously awesome. And as you can see, this is the unit itself. It seriously, it seriously is hefty. It seriously is extremely hefty. Alrighty, we're gonna use a three amp hour compact HP battery. And let's see how this can do. Now, can you, is there an oscillating feature? There is not. This is only uh, up and down. There is no oscillating. All right, so we're gonna test that this out and see what this can do. Does it reach it all the way? Yes, it does. All right, so ready? Go. Wait a minute, is there a speed? I think there is. All right, so we're gonna continue. Just testing it out. The Ryobi is smoking. Ryobi is smoking. I'm, I'm starting to think that the Ryobi is it's able to work it, but I feel that uh, well also I abused the crap out of this tool. I uh, I did a lot of work. This is I think this multi job tool is my second most used tool. And yeah, I, I did a lot of work with this uh, with this multi job tool. Alright, so let's go again. Ready? Go. Yeah, I can smell that right that it's burning. I can smell it's burning. I'm not sure if you can see that. All right, we got 1.5 amp hour on it now. Full battery. All right, so ready, go.
just can you see that? But it definitely is it's smoking. But this attachment is cool. This attachment is really cool. I think I, I'm just gonna need a new uh, Ryobi multi job tool because I I had this one for uh, for a while now and I abused the crap out of it by working on the house and doing the odd stuff that this really doesn't shouldn't be doing. Now I do not know if the performance right now is being is affected by what the tool since the tool is smoking or or because I this might be overload. For this tool it technically it fits on there but when it comes to this attachment it might be major overload for this tool because of the just the resistance of the mechanics inside putting on the restraining the motor it, it might be too much for uh for the multi ryobi's multi-job tool it fits it works that's what we hit we're here to test but when it comes to this attachment, based on this smoking and smelling burnt, which is the first time that I've used this tool with it smelling and uh, burning like that, I do not recommend this attachment for uh, for this tool. Because I think it's too much work for, for the Ryobi. The attachment's awesome though. You know, it's, uh, you know it, it, it does the job slow, but if you, instead of, you know, so instead of hauling around a big jigsaw, you just need to do a couple of cuts. This isn't bad. You know, the size difference, you know, in your bag is, is huge. So this isn't bad at all for if you have a couple of, uh, you just need, got to do a couple of cuts and you have one tool for, uh, multi, for multi-purpose. It's not bad at all. This attachment was, I think, uh, forty nine dollars. So yeah, it, it cuts. It cuts the two by four. It cuts it slow, but it cuts it. And so yeah, this attachment. The attachment is actually pretty awesome. It actually is pretty awesome. I, I could feel that. I could feel. That. Let's do one more reading. Temperature felt like it rose, like ninety three degrees. It's now it's saying it's at like ninety five degrees. So. So that's that. So that's pretty much it. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time.